everybody doing this wonderful afternoon? Uh, I just wanted to get on here and say hello and God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, I want to tell y'all, yesterday afternoon when I got off work, I seen that I got almost home and my gas light had came on and I had a little flash of light. But my car does not tell me how many miles I have left until I'm completely empty. So once that little flashing light comes on, I'm gonna tell you, you have about um, 20 miles if you're lucky. <laughs> and that's it, that's all you're getting. And just so you know, I drive a Toyota Prius car that is half, um, well, I'd say 25% electric and 75% gas. But it's like maybe 40 miles per gallon, if you know, give or take. Well, let me tell y'all, so I said to myself, well, I'm going to get up and I'm going to uh, get some gas before work and then I'll head on to work. Well, this morning I was running a little late and I didn't stop. <laughs> I did not go to the gas station this morning like I said I was going to, to myself and um, so I go on to work and then I go on my lunch break. So on my lunch break, I go and I swing by, I grab a cheeseburger and a large water, and um, I was at a red light, and my car was like pressing the gas, but no, there was no go-go juice. I was pressing the gas, but there was no, it wasn't going nowhere. So luckily, like I was able to coast into a parking lot safely without getting ran over, Thank you, Jesus, for your safety. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I can see the na I can see the gas station. It's literally walking distance, but I have no I have no jug with me. So I walked into this little, it's like a little uh, physical therapy place, and I said, excuse me, but I need help. I was like, I know this is gonna sound like crazy. But I'm on my lunch break at work and I ran out of gas. I didn't make it to the gas station. So this sweet little girl, she was so sweet. Her boss told her that she could take me down to the gas station. So we went to this first gas station and they didn't have a gas job. And she took me to the second gas station and luckily they did. And um, so I got two gallons of gas and I got the, the gas job and I went back, I filled out my car. I said, Look, you were more than generous, and you were so um, happy to come to my rescue. I was like, I want to give you some money. She's like, no, no, no. She's like, I'm not taking that money. I said, I know you're not taking the money, but I'm giving it to you. So I laid it on her dash, and I was like, you were nice enough to help me. I want to be nice enough just to give you a little something. That way, you know, I, I just feel that's the way we should be, you know. Uh, give honor where honor's due. And so... Uh, that, two, you know, that two gallons was enough for me to make it to the next gas station. And I filled up. I learned my lesson. And I was like, thank you, God, for letting me go ahead. And, Lord, thank you, God, for sending me help, Lord. You know, those people, they could have been hard-hearted. They could have said, no, I'm not going to help you. But yet, you know, when you help other people, it's going to come back to you, praise God. There's many times that I have you know, bend over backwards to help people, take people to town, or, you know, give them a ride, or somebody at work that may want lunch and they don't have a way to go get something, and I'll be more than glad to pick them up something. You know, sometimes you get, you do, you know, you give and you do stuff, God will, is going to bless you back. And, you know, I praise God for, you know, God helping me. You know, like I said, people, they could have just said, no, I'm not going to help you. But, you know, God made a way when there seemed not to be a way. You know, I didn't have no jug. I didn't have no way to go get it. And, you know, I got blessed with, you know, somebody to help me. And I praise God for that. You know, it's the little things that's big to me. And, you know, people think it's foolish, but it's not. Because God, he has blessings on top of blessings. And I praise him for it. You know, I get to thinking whenever I'm thinking about this carnal stuff, I get to getting in my heart and my mind and my soul thinking about spiritual stuff. And I say, God, don't let me run out fuel God Lord don't let me run out of your spirit God and when I say fuel I mean the spirit of the Holy Ghost spirit carnal, turning this carnal into spiritual 
And I say, God, don't let me run empty out on you, God. Lord, I might have been foolish, and I might have not have done what I was supposed to do, but God, I learned my lesson on this carnal thing of letting my gas turn into small and uh, letting it run out. But God, I don't want to be foolish towards you. Lord, don't let me even get halfway empty. God, I want to stay to the full mark. If I have to come to your fueling station, which is the Holy Ghost within me, if I have to come to you every day to get my fuel, to stay prayed up against the enemy, God, don't let me run out of fuel, God, because I need you, God. I need your sweet Holy Ghost and power, God. Lord, I need you to make it each breath that I take, each step that I take, Lord. Each every day, I need you, God. I need you more and more and more. God, don't let me run out of you, God. Don't let me run out of your spirit, God, because you are my everything, Jesus. Oh, you're my everything. I love you and I praise you, God. Lord, I magnify your name. Jesus, you are my everything. You know, it takes the, the foolish things to come found the wise. You know, sometimes it takes things for God to be able to show us stuff. But I love my Jesus and I wouldn't trade him for the world. And I thank God for just keeping on blessing me. And, you know, I, he don't owe me nothing. I, I don't even, you know, he don't owe me, owe me anything. But you know what? God takes care of his people. He takes care of his people that is obedient and that serves him. And says, God, I don't care what comes or goes. Lord, I'm going to serve you. You know, some people, they would have said, well, I'm running out of gas. God, help me. Lord Jesus, help me. But you know what? And then they ran out of gas. They would have lost all faith and hope in Jesus. But yet, we got to stand our test for our testimony. I tell you over and over again, stand your test for your testimony. I didn't give up just because I didn't make it to that gas station that I could just see. I could see it. I didn't give up on oh my God. But yet he let me walk through this test for a testimony to show me that he delivered me. I didn't have to walk to no gas station, but he helped me. He gave me a ride there all the way to where I needed him back. That's the God that I serve. That's the God that I serve. And I tell you now, he is a everything to me. But I just wanted to get on here and tell you, he can make the bad situation something that I messed up. And I'm at a sloppy, messy situation. I was, uh, I done this to myself. I could have stopped at that gas station yesterday afternoon or this morning. But yet, I kept on putting it off. And I kept on just delaying it. But yet, God made a way for me to get that gas. He made a way. He can make a way when there seemed not to be a way. In my situation, in your situation, in anybody else's situation, praise God. I love my Jesus. But I just wanted to get on here. Hey, <laughs> let's just laugh anyways. Because the preacher lady on wheels is back in action. I got a full tank of gas and I'm full of the Holy Ghost, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon in Jesus' name. And remember, like I always tell y'all, God loves you. I love you. Keep God number one in your life and you're going to be all right. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Until next time. Bye-bye.